the memories of the maker. I am Bumblebee. Might not be the oldest or strongest among the Autobots, but there's one thing I've always been proud of. My ability to listen and remember stories. And of all the stories I've ever heard, the tale of Solace Prime has always had a special place in my spark. That night, after a long battle against the Decepticons, we gathered around an Energon campfire. Optimus Prime, with a distant look in his eyes, began to tell us about one of his most legendary predecessors, Solus Prime. Bumblebee, Optimus said, did you know that before this war, even before Cybertron as we know it, there was a group of first Transformers called the Thirteen Primes? I nodded eagerly. Of course, I had heard about them, but there was always something new to learn. Optimus continued, And among them there was one Prime with unique abilities. Her name was Solus Prime. As Optimus told the story, I could imagine Solus Prime clearly, as if I were there. Solus Prime's workshop was an amazing place. Its walls were covered with various tools and weapons I had never seen before. In the middle of the room, Solus stood gracefully, her hands skillfully manipulating metal and energy. What are you making, Solus? Asked a small voice. It was Micronus Prime, always curious about Solus's work. Solus smiled, her blue eyes shining brightly. I'm trying to create a tool that can repair damage to our sparks, she replied. Imagine, Micronus, if we could heal our deepest wounds. Micronus nodded in awe, but then his expression turned serious. Solus, I'm worried about Megatronus. He's becoming different. Solus's smile faded slightly. I know, Micronus. I feel it too. But I believe there's still good in him. Just then, Megatronus entered the workshop. His large figure filled the doorway. Ah, Solus. I've been looking for you. Solus greeted him with a nod. Is there something I can help you with, brother? Megatronus approached Solus's workbench, his eyes scanning the various projects in progress. I have an idea for a new weapon, something that's never existed before. Oh. Solus raised an eyebrow, interested but also wary. Imagine a weapon that could destroy a spark in a single shot. Nothing could withstand it. Micronus gasped in shock while Solus paused before carefully answering. Megatron is such power. It's too dangerous. We are protectors, not destroyers. Megatronus frowned. Sometimes to protect, we must destroy threats before they become problems. And who decides what becomes a threat? Solus asked gently. The debate continued, their voices growing louder. I, as Bumblebee imagining this scene, could feel the tension filling the room. Back at the campfire, Optimus sighed heavily. That argument marked the beginning of the division among the Thirteen Primes. Megatronus became increasingly obsessed with power, while Solus remained firm in her principle of creating for the greater good. Still fascinated by this story, I asked, Then what happened, Optimus? Optimus stared at the dancing flames. One day, Megatronus came to Solus's workshop with a final request. Solus! Megatronus's voice thundered in the workshop. I need your strongest weapon. Solus, who was working on the forge of Solus Prime, turned slowly. For what purpose, Megatronus? To end all of this, to make Cybertron better. We could rule together, Solus. With your intelligence and my strength, nothing could stop her. Solus shook her head sadly. Power isn't our purpose, Megatronus. 
We were created to serve and protect. Protect? Megatronus laughed bitterly. From what? Primus has made us perfect. We deserve to rule. No, brother. This is not the right path. Megatronus growled angrily. Then you two are an obstacle that must be removed. In the blink of an eye, Megatronus attacked. Solus, though strong, wasn't prepared for this sudden assault. A fierce battle erupted in the workshop, tools and weapons flying everywhere. In the final moment, as Megatronus raised his weapon for the last blow, Solus looked at him sadly. I forgive you, brother. She whispered before the light in her eyes dimmed. Energon tears flowed down my cheeks as Optimus finished his story. So, that's how Solus Prime ended? Optimus nodded slowly. Physically, yes. But Solus Prime's legacy lives on in every creation she left behind, and in every Cybertronian who chooses to create rather than destroy. Ratchet, who had been silent until now, finally spoke up. I've always admired Solus Prime. As a medic, I feel connected to her philosophy of repairing and protecting. And as a scout, I added, I'm inspired by her courage to stand firm in her principles, even in the face of threats. Optimus smiled, proud to see how Solace's story still affected us to this day. That's true strength, Bumblebee. Not in weapons or power, but in integrity and love. That night, as I entered recharge mode, I dreamed of a workshop filled with light and a female prime working with full dedication, creating wonder after wonder. And I promised myself that I would always remember the lesson from Solus Prime, that creation and protection are far more powerful than destruction. In my spark, I knew that as long as there were Cybertronians who remembered and honored Solus Prime's legacy, her light would continue to shine guiding us through the darkest times in our struggle. The next day, as Cybertron's dawn began to break, I woke up feeling different. Optimus's story about Solus Prime was still echoing in my processor. I felt compelled to know more. Optimus, I called out when I found him studying a holographic map. Could you tell me more about Solus Prime's legacy? Optimus smiled, as if he had been waiting for this question. Of course, Bumblebee. Let's take a look at the Forge of Solus Prime. We walked to a secret storage room in the Autobot base. There, on a gleaming pedestal, lay a large hammer, radiating an aura of power. This is one of Solus Prime's greatest legacies. The Forge of Solus Prime has the ability to create almost anything from any raw material said Optimus. I stared at the hammer in awe. Has it been used since, since Solus's passing? Optimus nodded slowly. A few times in very critical situations, but its power is so great that it must be used very wisely. Suddenly, an alarm sounded. Arcee ran in. Optimus, Decepticons are attacking Crystal City. In an instant, we were in battle mode. As we rushed to the ground bridge, I couldn't stop thinking about the Forge of Solace Prime and the power of creation it held. In Crystal City, the battle was fierce. Megatron led the attack, his red eyes glowing with hatred. As I dodged shots and returned fire, I remembered the story of Megatronus's fall and how he became the greatest threat to Cybertron. Amidst the chaos, I saw a group of civilian Cybertronians trapped under debris. Without thinking, I rushed towards them, trying to lift the heavy rubble crushing them. Bumblebee, watch out! Arcee yelled. I turned just in time to see Starscream aiming a missile at me. In that split second, I remembered Solace Prime's words about protecting the weak. Without hesitation, I spread my body shielding the civilians with myself. Boom. The explosion sent me flying. My systems began to shut down one by one, 
but I could see the civilians running to safety. At least they're safe, I thought, before my consciousness began to fade. Faintly, I heard Ratchet's voice. He's severely injured. We need to get back to base now. In the darkness enveloping me, I saw a light. And there standing was a figure I had only imagined. Solace Prime. You have acted bravely, young scout. She said in a voice that was gentle yet full of authority. Solace Prime? I asked in disbelief. Am I offline? She smiled. It's not your time yet, Bumblebee. There's still much for you to do. But how? I'm badly injured. Solace reached out her hand, touching my chest right above my spark. True strength isn't always in the form of weapons or physical power. Sometimes it's in the courage to sacrifice for others. You've shown that strength today. I felt warmth spreading from where Solace touched me. Always remember, Bumblebee, in every Cybertronian spark, there's potential to be a creator, a protector, and a bringer of light. Use that power wisely. The light grew brighter, blinding, and suddenly... He's online! I heard Ratchet exclaim. Slowly, I opened my optics. I was in the med bay, surrounded by my Autobot friends looking at me with relieved faces. You scared us, little bee, said R.C., holding my hand. Optimus stepped forward, his eyes radiating wisdom and pride. You acted bravely today, Bumblebee. Solace Prime would be proud. I smiled weakly, remembering my dream. I think she is proud, Optimus. Since that day, I've understood more deeply what it means to be an Autobot and the legacy of the Primes. It's not just about strength or fighting ability, but about the courage to protect, the wisdom to create, and the strength to stick to our principles. And whenever I feel doubtful or afraid, I always remember Solace Prime's gentle touch and her hopeful words. In my spark, I know that as long as we stay true to these values, the legacy of Solace Prime and all the Primes before her will continue to live on, guiding us towards a brighter future for Cybertron and all Cybertronians. <laughs>